the International Day for Biological Diversity, what is the key message that you would like to send out to the country? Well, to my fellow countrymen, I would say very well done. Kudos to uh, managing biodiversity in India, which is which has a lot of biotic pressure, uh, and you know about 150,000 personnel are engaged. Governments enabling policies, so all that is contributing to the management of biodiversity in the country and I, I you know give my personal kudos to all of them on the international day for biological diversity what is the key message that you would want to send out to the global community well i think biodiversity needs uh, communication we need to tell each and everyone that the kind of uh, services, the ecosystem services, that interconnectedness among all life forms provides us has not, is not being conveyed in a manner that it should be. Uh, so for, for, for better ecosystem services, we need to have variety of life on earth. India has been, had the presidency of COP to CBD till recently. Uh, what do you think were some of the most important achievements of India? during the presidency? Well, hosting the 11th Conference of Parties to the Convention on Biological Diversity was really a proud movement for India. Domestically, it increased uh, the awareness about biodiversity in general. The biodiversity institutions got more resources for augmenting, strengthening. Uh, globally, India was uh, I guess responsible for motivating countries to uh, ratify the Nagoya Protocol and that is where I guess the first meeting of the parties was chaired by India. Do you think the investments in the country are adequate to meet the priorities of the biodiversity conservation and to achieve the national biodiversity targets? Not really. In fact, India has conveyed to Convention on Biological Diversity that per annum we spend around $2 billion on core biodiversity activities. Now, high level panel on achieving IG targets globally has estimated $150 billion to $450 billion that are needed annually. If you bring down that figure to the 10, managing 10% 10 of biodiversity that India hosts, so we need at least on the conservative scale $15 billion and on the optimistic scale around $45 billion. So we are spending only about $2 billion. So obviously we need a lot of uh, you know, international finance in this field. What do you think is the role of international organizations such as UNDP? in conservation of biodiversity of our, in our country? Well, I mean, our partnership with UNDP uh, throughout the year and particularly on matters pertaining to biodiversity on International Biodiversity Day is unique. We have been, during our India's presidency, UNDP and India, Government of India came to, uh, together to institute an award to, to motivate uh, people who are engaged in managing biodiversity and we are continuing this after the presidency. Next year also we will have biodiversity awards in partnership with UNDP. UNDP manages almost all our JEP portfolio and besides the, the NRM, the Natural Resource Program Management Program of UNDP from their core budget is uh, unique to India and I, I would uh, uh, like to you know use this occasion to tell the uh, the global society that you know UNDP needs to be uh, supported more and more uh, with the funds so that the the, the expertise that they, they have uh, and they are using that in our country for managing biodiversity we get more and more of that so uh, ultimately international finance and particularly now uh, UNDP is trying to trying to facilitate through uh, the process of uh, biofin. Uh, I guess I think India welcomes it, and and we we, we would like to be uh, an able partner on this particular journey of biofin.